Oh. He's a sucker. Oh, I just got a no. Oh, what's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ, a TV. Today, I am showing you an empty muscle food box. Yes, that's right. Because um, I actually shoved it in the fridge because I wanted to put this on camera and wasn't ready to film it yet. So here we go. This is how much you can actually fit on one shelf in your fridge if you play your cards right. So we've got uh, Ignore here and above. This is um, Christmas zero calories. Underneath here, we have the contents of what was in that muscle food box. Isn't that right, Jess? Huh? You? 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 So, we get a monthly order. Come a little closer, camera woman. We get a monthly order of primarily chicken, chicken. and steak. Okay, so they come in little packets, like so. One, two, a three, a four. A five, six, seven, eight. They come in happy, healthy, lovely vacuum packs of two. These need absolutely zero work, but I just pretty much wish we keep one after dinner. Yeah. Wow. Right. Would you like to pick which one? That well, one. I think that one. Oh, that's see, I was thinking that one, right? That one. That one. This one does actually look really good. Let's okay. have this one. The rest of these can go, oh no, wait. Freezer. In the freezer, like so, bang. We've had plenty of muscle food stocked already. We've got beef steak, beef mint, some chicken in there. Now, this is the hard part. This is a gross part. Wait, yeah, yeah, that's one way. For this next part, I'm gonna show you, oh, they changed the packaging again. I'm gonna show you exactly why Meal prepping kind of sucks. But everybody should do it. Unless you're an absolute whoa, whoa. baller. Unless you're an absolute baller. In which case, more than you. So all you're gonna need is freezer bags like so. I would recommend you pack them out like one, two, three, four, five, okay? We are gonna put two chicken breasts in each one of these bags. So there's 2.5 kilos in here, another 2.5 kilos in there. So there's five kilos worth of chicken. Divided by into two breasts, I think we usually need like 15 bags, something like that. I think just off the top of my head, I don't know, I'm looking at you for advice. I haven't done this for about two years. <laughs> Waft them open like that, because then um, you're just gonna save this, this little mess and problem and you're not going to get chicken, raw chicken all over the outside of the bag and that just creates a whole nother issue. I mean, we've got to be very, very, very hygienic king, you know. So we've got three stations, well four stations. We've got the bag of original chicken, the empty bags, the bag of the chicken and where the other bagged chickens are going to go. Show them the stations, babe. Station, 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 station. Wow. It's like a military operation, this. So one breast is usually around about 200 grams. And that's a big boy right there, that is 229 grams. Um, so usually the bags come up to around about 400, there or thereabouts anyway. But I can tell already that that is gonna be a big one. So, there's the first one, yeah, and that's a 500 gram bag right there, so. You don't necessarily have to weigh it, but I mean, we tend to just for, out of interest really, like that one is 215 grams, so I can already tell that this 2.5 kilogram bag is a bag of big chicken breasts. Like I think this one's probably gonna be two, a 250 breast, so this will probably take it to like over 500. Oh, okay, no, it's smaller than I thought, anyway. So as you can tell, it can vary. And so this is why it is important to weigh your foods, you know, we always weigh it um, when we actually cook the dinners but then uh, it's virtually impossible unless you want to spend hours doing it, which I do not, my time is far too valuable. Unless you want to spend hours doing it, you're just gonna get a rough estimate 
with with each bag. So you guys get the point. Just literally repeat the process. Repeat, boom, 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 boom. You don't necessarily have to use muscle food, chicken breasts, um, but I would definitely recommend buying it from somewhere in bulk. It works out a hell of a lot cheaper. Uh, lasts you a lot longer. You can store it really compact if you play your cards right, and uh, saves you money, saves you time. Win, 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 win. Jesus, that's a massive look at the size of that. Okay, job done. Next to tie them all up and Jesse, <laughs> store them on the empty shelf. Five kilos of chicken stored on one shelf. We used to store the same amount and more in a smaller freezer when we were at uni, didn't we? It was like one, like if you have a small freezer and you've got the three boxes, it was one of the boxes. Yeah. For people who don't have an American size freezer. Pick that up, I'm squatting down here. If you have. <laughs> I've got uh, chicken hands. So. A normal freezer which has three to four drawers in it, we had one drawer. And we'd yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes a little bit of another drawer, but we'd fill with that mm, much meat. Mostly, we just used one. We had a lot of mints as well. We had all the steak, all the mints. Yeah. You just got to be strategic with it. We've kept the steak out for dinner. We've kept the steak out for tomorrow night. In the future, if we get mint in there again, we might think, okay, well, we might have mints over the next two to three days. If you don't have all the room in your freezer. Don't just stick it all in your freezer, be kind of strategic, so plan out your meals, plan out your days and you'll find out that actually it, <laughs> it can be kind of, we used to have a right laugh doing it at uni, I mean that was gross, I don't know why I've not done it for a while but it sucks, it smells and it's all slimy but it does help you further down the road, like let's say you wanted to do a week's worth of meal prep, let's say it's a Sunday, your must food box arrives on a Sunday, you could do a week's worth of chicken, cook it, stick that in the fridge for the week, stick a couple of days worth in the fridge, stick some in the freezer, and boom, you spread it all across, you've done your meal prep, and boom, you're going to get shredded, just like me, simple as really. <laughs> So much room for extra activities. Those are 500 milliliters every time.
the, that might, it's not the moon. <laughs> it's like the moon. It's the <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. though yeah 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 just smile and wave bro smile and wave don't worry about what you have done ten times better I've worked with all these Christmas calories Woo. I think he's done with that <laughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Let's save the moment, Liam. Are you are you are you, are you I'm in the Let me see! Place. Let me see! Hiya! Fuck it, where are you? It's in pretty hall. Class! Oh wow! I'll leave you to it then, mate. I'll, uh, I'll call you in a bit. Yeah, okay, when will you be done? Uh, a couple of hours. I'll call you when we get to the book. Hang on, first, before. <laughs> Graduated again, lads. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really hear you, so I'll be back later, bro. Okay, mate, enjoy it. Alright, love you, bye. He's, uh, he's, he's just finished his PGCE and he's graduating, so... I was actually going to finish this video off with Jake, um, explaining that, you know, what well, that was basically... That was one of the worst sessions we have had for a long time. I mean, the last few sessions that me and Jake have had have been really, really good. We've really friggin' smashed it. Good intensity, we've made a good video at the same time. We've had fun, we've actually got to see each other because we used to see each other pretty much every day at uni, and, I mean, obviously, you move apart when you kind of leave uni but obviously Charlotte lives in Birmingham, Jake lives in Birmingham they're actually within a few miles of each other so I kind of try and kill two birds with one stone And but anyway I went to see Jake and we went to the gym um, and the initial story was that we want to go to a gym that I want to do a best gym episode of actually so it might just be a blessing in disguise because the first time that I go could be the best gym episode that I film and it's not the same if you film it at the second time like you have to film it the first time you walk into that gym. That's kind of the point and the emphasis of the video. The, the, the first time you walk in, you get your real reaction to what the gym is like. If you've been there before, you already have an assumption, you already have an opinion of it. So, maybe a blessing in disguise. I've literally just thought of that now. But anyway, swing some roundabouts. Make of it what you will. Okay, so we were going to go to this gym. It's called Aesthetic. It's in Birmingham. I think it's in Erdington, near Emporium. Um, and we were going to go there. It was a Saturday, though. Gyms closed at like 5, 6 o'clock on a Saturday. We did not realise it was a Saturday. Number one, I train in a home gym 95% of the time, right? I don't have to worry about times. I could train naked at 2 o'clock in the morning if I really freaking wanted to. But I don't, but I could. After realising we weren't going to get into aesthetic, we said, sod it, import. we were willing to travel to aesthetic. We may as well go to Emporium. It's only down the road, right? You know, both of the gyms are, are nearby. So we said, cool, okay, I can cope with that. Emporium as a backup, as a option B as a second choice yeah like sure leg day Emporium yeah why the hell not Emporium closed at six because it was a Saturday and all of a sudden we were left with one option and one option only the gym Sutton Coldfield which is good because I got to park for free we got in for free because of somebody else's code mm -hmm. and it was a good session but only a good session we had a seriously hardcore leg session planned you know we were thinking hat squatting we were thinking bloody all sorts it was going to be a good in well actually i was thinking that i hadn't actually told jake that it was leg day until we went because i knew he'd bail on me otherwise but it ended up being a good session it was nice to see jake but it was a bit of a disaster in terms of the expectation versus the reality where we ended up you know there's nothing wrong with the gym they're very affordable very good piece of equipment but it's just when you especially for the price but it's just when you have this expectation of a hardcore bodybuilder gym and then you wind up at the gym 
um, it's it's just complete opposite ends of the spectrum, you know. Um, so that was that. Is what it is. We still had a good session. We had a good time. Uh, we were going to go for some food, but we sat that off in the end as well because of the whole fiasco. We ended up training later than normal. Oh, it was a right faff. Oh, it was a right cock up. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I probably should have called it something like. Um, bagging up frozen chicken with my girlfriend holding the camera rather than the actual title of this video but hey if i did that no one would bloody watch it would they i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have please like comment down below subscribe if you are new share it with a friend share it with your nan share it with your dogs sisters cousins aunties brother-in-laws daughters why? You get the point, share it with lots of people, it really, really helps. Thank you so much for your support lately. We're friggin' smashed it um, over Christmas and we are gonna smash it into the new year. We're gonna make 2020 our freaking year, people! It's gonna be a good one, but I need your help. Drop the video a like. But I already know you've done that anyway, so it's all good, you know? You've already done that, right? Some people are watching this and are still not gonna like the video. Have you liked the video? Did you enjoy it? Have I provided value and entertainment today? Yes. Yes is the answer. Good, good. So drop the video a like. Help your boy out. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Together we will grow. And that's it. I think. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know where you want episode 8 of the Best Gym series to be. And let me know what kind of videos do you want to see me make in 2020. Do you want to see full days of eating? Do you want to see vlogs? Do you want to see training videos? Do you want to see all of the above? Let me know. I take on board everything you guys say. So let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I will see you in the next one.